Hello, thank you for joining us for Microsoft Dynamics GP 101 presented by Ingevity. In today's session, we'll be covering how to use the help system. My name is Chris Dobkins and I will be guiding you through our session today. As we talk about the help system, we're going to look at the general help menu within Microsoft Dynamics GP. We're going to talk about context sensitive help and how you can get help within individual windows within Dynamics GP. We'll talk about how you can gain access to all of the manuals for every module, and we'll talk about some additional orientation training that's available to you within the Microsoft Dynamics GP client. As I switch over to the Microsoft Dynamics GP application, in the top right hand corner we have a help button. When I click on this button, uh, my help menu will appear and provides me with a variety of different help options. Uh, the contents and index sections of help provide a very familiar Windows based help system that allows you to search through all of the online help. The printable manuals is a section that allows you to access PDF versions of every manual for the entire Great Plains system. Uh, orientation training provides you with some additional 101 level help. What's new is a great place to come after you go through an upgrade it will provide you with a PDF that will show you all of the new features of your Dynamics GP system. In addition, Microsoft Dynamics GP Online will take you to Customer Source where you have the ability to access a full online knowledge base uh, as well as order, uh, order checks and other business forms and uh, find out uh, everything that's going on within the Microsoft Dynamics community. Let's start by talking about the contents. When I come into the contents area of help, you'll see I have a book for uh, all of the various different modules within the system. Uh, within any of these, say sales order processing for example, I can drill through and get help on how to set the system up, how to enter transactions, how to do inquiries and reports, etc very much like reading through a book in a very orderly process from start to finish from setting the system up all the way through using the system and pulling reports out of it. Uh, within the index I have uh, what you might expect from the index of the back of a book and of course in the search area I could come in and, and do a search on uh, customers get a list of topics that include customers such as my customer maintenance screen and when I click on that, uh, it takes me right to that section of the help. Of course, within any of the uh, help areas, if you find something that uh, uh, is useful to you, you can uh, add it to your favorites simply by coming to the favorites tab and choosing add. Next, we'll talk a little bit about the context sensitive help within Microsoft Dynamics GP. You'll see this here listed as about this window. You'll also see that it is connected to the F1 key so that anytime you're within a window in Great Plains, you can press F1 to get some help on that particular window. Let's look at an example within the financial transactions, entering a journal entry. Now let's say that uh, I'm entering a journal and uh, I'm curious about the meaning of this transaction type field, standard and reversing. I have a help button in the bottom right hand corner of the screen that I can select that will take me directly to the help screen for the financial transaction entry window. I'll have some instructions on how to navigate to the window as well as related items that will guide me through creating batches, entering beginning balances, posting transactions, uh, backing out and correcting transactions, etc. I also have options here to view information on all the fields on the screen, the buttons that I can press and what each one of them does, and all of the menus that are available to me within this screen. Let's go back to that transaction type field here for a minute. I'll click on fields. All of the fields are listed here in alphabetical order. So as we scroll down towards the T's, we'll see our field here for transaction type, and I get a nice description about what both the standard and reversing entries do. Of course, as we saw earlier, if this is something that I uh, am frequently curious about, I can add it right to my help favorites. 
so I can continue to access it uh, at any time. So that's an example of how the context sensitive help works. Of course, you can also click the F1 button on your keyboard to access the exact same system. Next, I want to look at how you can access the Dynamics GP manuals through the help system. We'll do that by going up to the help button and choosing printable manuals. Here I get a list organized by system grouping of all of the uh, different areas within Great Plains. Let's go into sales. Now you'll see I have manuals listed for receivables, sales order processing, and several other options. Now let's say I want to get the manual for collections management. I'll just click that link and Adobe Acrobat will open and we'll be able to view this manual. In this case, it's a 54-page manual. I can print this out. Of course, because it's also in a PDF, I can uh, do searches on it or navigate through the chapters to see, for example, how to do inquiries and send out letters. Every manual that uh, is available in the entire Great Plains system is available through the printable manuals option. Uh, as you'll see as you play around in here, there are manuals on just about everything from how to set up users and set up the system to process financial transactions, uh, set up the sales and purchasing modules, manage reporting, uh, just some really terrific resources that are available to you. Uh, one of the ones that uh, I'd really suggest that uh, that you focus on is the Smart List Builder User's Guide. Uh, it's a great tool for some of the uh, ad hoc reporting uh, that we talked about in the introduction to reporting session just previous to this one. Finally, the last item I'll note as we look through here is the orientation training. This is available to you right within the Dynamics GP client. It is available within Internet Explorer and will provide you with a very good in introduction to the Dynamics GP system that includes things like the basics of accounting, uh, how, how to manage posting within the system, uh, viewing data, and of course using help. Uh, the last area of help that uh, I think is important to note is uh, Microsoft Dynamics GP Online. Uh, this is a, uh, a again another online resource that's available to you. Uh, using this this tool, you have the ability to log into Customer Source, where we have a whole host of e-learning available for you. In fact, if you are active in your maintenance plan, all of the e-learning resources are free for every user within your organization. It's a fantastic resource uh, we definitely encourage you to take a look at. Uh, we will be doing another uh, online training session on how to use customer source. Uh, we invite you to uh, check that out when we have it posted. That's a, a very good tool, not only for the e-learning, but also for uh, the ability to search the knowledge base, order forms like checks, and uh, just really stay in touch with the entire Microsoft Dynamics GP community. So in this session, we've covered the help menu, the context sensitive help. I've shown you how to access the manuals and orientation training, and we've talked a little bit about customer source. I hope that has been a good introduction to you for the Dynamics GP help system. If you have any other questions, we certainly invite you to contact us at support at longevity.com or call us at 720-870-9700, extension 2, to get our service team. We hope this has been useful and we look forward to having you participate with us in future online training sessions.